Hey, hi there, Aquarius. Welcome to your August 2020 weekly predictive tarot reading. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable. And please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. There is a free birth chart calculator link at the very bottom of the description box below. It helps you with these readings. And I'd like to thank you for supporting my channel. It keeps me able to provide you with these free readings. Thanks, you guys. And now for your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. The Nine of Wands, Aquarius. This is fire energy. Someone's moon in Sagittarius. My moon is in Sagittarius. Moon always represents the feelings, your inner self. So when I want more clarity on my feelings, then I check out Sagittarius, because that's where my moon is. No, this guy is kind of tired. He's solitary and suspicious, and he's on guard. He has strength and determination. He has strength to overcome trouble. He's been confronting difficulties. And there's strength in waiting, and they never give up. It's victory through courage and endurance, and it's the pause in the struggle and the end of a cycle, and it's preparedness and strength in reserve. And there is eventual victory, but steady force must be applied. Through effort and determination, you've protected what's yours and shown courage under fire and stood your ground. This is a card of recovery, and now you're in a strong position, and success is at hand. Nines represent completion, indicating the job is done. You've planned well and wisely. If there's still any opposition, your skills and your strength and courage will prevail. This is a test of faith. But still it's recovery and being in a strong position. It's a battle that you've been fighting. You're looking over your shoulder. It's moving forward with purpose and direction. And your strength and your courage and skills will prevail. You have your defenses up to perfect your, per, to protect yourself. You're hanging in there. Do not give up. This is the final push. And you can see the goal. And just by holding out, you win. Now your second card. And this is the energy that crosses over your path. These are your subconscious influences. Number 16 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The Tower. This can represent a Scorpio or an Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This has to do with change. Could happen quickly. Maybe you saw the writing on the wall. Brings in a rapid transformation. There was a shaky foundation. Maybe you're questioning beliefs. There's unseen forces at work here. Those are yods representing divine influence, like an act of God, it's something that cannot be avoided. You may not believe that what is happening is for the best. It can be releasing pent-up emotions, and it will make you feel liberated. It's rebuilding and refocusing because you're about to enter a new era in life. This is a wake-up call to be cautious. Could be ambitious goals that were made with false premises. This is a massive change. There could have been false understanding, and your soul is going to evolve. You'll need to build a foundation that is strong. So look for any weaknesses in your foundation. Where are you most vulnerable? It's a big change you may have to deal with. The Nine of Wands, or the Tower card, <clears throat> excuse me, is getting a long-awaited retribution. It's containment of an explosive emotional reaction. It's protecting or being defensive of an unexpected change. It's defending yourself against drama that you're tired of. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Six of Swords, Aquarius. This is Mercury in Aquarius. 
Mercury represents our communication and planning, how we set goals and achieve them. Now this is moving out of troubled waters into calmer waters. It's a better future ahead. It's a calming of mental anguish. There's mental healing coming in now. It's a transition with support. This can be a movement of any kind. It's leaving your troubles behind and now there's smooth sailing ahead. It's like the calm after the storm. It can even be a journey and it will go smoothly and there will be relief at what you left behind. Could even be going on a short trip somewhere. This could even be a spiritual journey. So be open for how things develop and have patience. It's being in a somber state and coasting along, feeling weighed down by heavy thoughts and emotions. It could even be a move to a more pleasing environment. This is a release of tension and anxiety after a period of strain or confusion or something destructive. Now there will be a sense of harmony that will prevail once again. This is a mental shift, a calming of emotions, and now healing has begun. This is also a vacation card. It's standing strong in your own convictions. There's no going back to the way it was before. The Nine of Wands with the Six of Swords is the endurance to see you through tough times. Your fourth card, it's the position of the future. It's the outcome, the results, and the advice. Number 14 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Temperance card. This is a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Now, this is Fire Energy. It's a card of adapting, tempering. This card is also ruled by Jupiter, which is, has to do with our fate, luck. Now, this is adjustments, blending, having to have patience, and compromising. And there's inner calm and tranquility, self-control. It's working in harmony with others and compromise instead of battle. It's taking the middle path and never going to one extreme or the other. It's having control over your own life. And what you have imagined will come to pass. This is alchemy, successful combinations being achieved, seeing both sides of the story, and sharing control. This is the vision of the new life that comes after death, and the ability to combine different elements in life, such as work and pleasure, love and sex, feelings and action, openness and confidence. This indicates victory over doubts and rigidities, and yet advises a cautious attitude, and be moderate, and take the middle way. It's integration, adapting to situations with a clear mind and a calm heart. It's a need to have patience for events surrounding you as they play out. It's reflection on your life and maturity. It's drawing in emotions and stop overreacting to outside forces. It's contemplation and reflection on events, relationships, and work. And you can be the calming force in chaos. And now it is a time that it's possible to overcome addiction to substance, people, or relationships. It's an obsession passing. And order is now going to be restored. The Nine of Wands with the Temperance card, these are two Sagittarius cards. It's being guarded and leery while compromising. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Two of Pentacles, Aquarius. Earth Energy, another Jupiter card in now in Capricorn. This is the ability to handle two situations at one time and achieve success. It's being incredibly busy. It's handling the ups and downs of life. It's changes, multitasking, juggling, trying to balance your priorities and your resources. It has to do with material concerns. It's 
being incredibly busy and your concentration is required. This can be two situations. It's managing your life with grace and ease. It's a balancing act. It's establishing the pros and cons of a situation and trying to keep a balance. Your hands are full and life is moving fast and you're being flexible and adaptable and accommodating and willing to please. You're managing priorities, displaying multiple talents, multitasking, keeping up with changes, and juggling the demands of family and work and money and relationships. It can also represent upper back pain. The Nine of Wands with the Two of Pentacles is defending priorities. It can also be physical work. The Tower with the Six of Swords is coming out on top. It's moving your thoughts to a safe place. It can be big changes and relocation is good. It's putting your troubles behind you. It's changing your view and getting away. The Tower with the Temperance card is something that has been finished. It's taking a break to start planning new activities. And it's accepting and allowing the cleansing of destruction. It's tempering and tempering fear and tragedy with love. And there's no point in fighting it. It's self-control that can be challenged by outside forces. The Tower with the Two of Pentacles is a huge surprise about stability and change. It can be emotional outbursts. It's a change that you can handle. It's a shake-up to your priorities. It can be an important revelation. It's faded change, and it's evolution, and it's ongoing. It's a rapid change. It's unexpected. It's something that's not solid. These can be emotional storms or a cycle of them. The Six of Swords with the Temperance card is moving in the right direction. It's happiness and joy and relaxation awaiting. It's moving towards moderation and compromise. The Six of Swords with the Two of Pentacles is a pivot point at deciding which direction to go. In some people's cases, it can represent car trouble. Be careful of that. There's a transition and a realignment and adjusting to changes. The Temperance card with the Two of Pentacles is handling curveballs. It's no stopping until you get it right. It can be balancing a skill or a situation. Your Vice Versa Tarot card by Lunia Weatherstone. The Eight of Cups. Water energy. The Eight of Cups. It's this side. A cloaked and hooded man turns his back and walks away from eight golden chalices. He bears a pilgrim's walking staff as if his journey will be long and arduous. The cup that he is abandoning are cracked, chipped, and dented. From the way they are stacked, it appears that one is missing. Perhaps a hooded man is carrying it away with him under his cloak. A metallic sun and moon stare impassively over the scene. When you get this side in a reading, when matters of the heart have proven too painful to persist, there's no fault in walking away. There are many kinds of emotional woundedness, and only you can know the best way to care for yourself. Do not let others judge you. The path forward may be challenging, but often the hardest part is making the decision to cut your losses and leave behind what is broken. Thanks, you guys, Aquarius. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.